Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Elise here of Plan With Elise and today I'm going to be doing a big haul video. So <clears throat> the team over at scrapbook.com was kind enough to send me a very big box of goodies. So big in fact that I can't fit it all on here. So I am just going to take them out and share them with you. Probably should have unwrapped all these first, but we will see. So I love, I feel like I can't talk while this is being unwrapped. I love their storage collection. I've shared the boxes that I use for bigger sticker books from um, shops like Hell of a Plan, Whimsy Lux, Amber Plans Your Day, Mojo Jojo, Live Love Posh before. And this is all from that same collection. So we have all the boxes are a really sturdy, like laminated cardboard. I don't know that anything would break these. And let's take a look at the dimensions of this. So this is just over seven inches by seven inches. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a square. So what would fit in here? Let's take a look. I have some Happy Planner classic paper. I don't know if this would fit. I feel like it's just going to be a touch too short. Yeah, it fits like bends a tiny bit. So that probably wouldn't be the ideal storage for that. But I bet it would be perfect storage for um, other small sticker books or notebooks. So my Cultivate What Matters goal setting sticker book fits in perfectly here. You could put a happy journal in here. And then you could put skinny classic size paper. So let me grab that. Okay, so the skinny size paper fits really well. And the other thought I had is sometimes I like to keep the sticker books that I used in a specific week near me on my desk for easy reaching access. And this would be perfect for that where I could divide it by the planner I used and something like that in case I wanna use the stickers throughout the week or use them to take a photo or something like that. So you could fit that, it would be two per section. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then as crafters, I'm sure there are so many other things that you could use this box for. So let's put that aside. Now up next is another thing from, thing, another box from this same collection. And this is like a tray that can go on your desk or your bookshelf, or it's like a compartment organizer. So this is shorter. It's two and a half inches. And then we have 10 and a half here by six and a half. So I think that this would work really well for things like sticky notes, which would fit perfectly in there. I also have a box of washi. So if you have other smaller boxes of washi like this, they would fit really nicely in here. You could also put your supplies like my favorite ones that I have here would fit really well in this or any other just type of smaller things that you might not always know what to do with. This is a really good storage compartment for those kinds of items. All right, next is probably so far what I'm most excited about. I did already take this out. So I've shared with you before, let me pull it out. The, like I mentioned, the larger sticker storage. This is heavy because it's full. So this box, sorry, we're getting a little shaky there, fits the stickers from those small sticker shops. However, there's also this box, which fits Happy Planner ones. So this is a tiered organizer, which means that these things, boxes in here, lift it up a little bit. However, I don't want that because it wouldn't fit on my bookshelf that way. So I took them out. They just kind of pop out. They're just sort of boxes. And let's take a look at how my Happy Planner classic sticker books fit. So these fit really well in here. It's probably best putting one in at a time, but let's get these in and we will see how many can fit. So it looks like 
you know how the back gets stuck sometimes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so it looks like you can fit 36 sticker books if it's nine in each compartment, which it should be. I would assume that they're the same size. Let's see if I can get all these nine in at once. Right after I said that it's better to put them in individually. All right, let's try this again. What I love about this storage is how clean it looks and minimal because I really like everything to be just one one same like clean color. I feel like sticker books have enough color on them on the covers that I really like my storage to be as simple as can be because you see my office the moment you walk into my apartment and I want it to be something that's nice to look at. So Got these two in here, and it looks like I have room for two more. So let me grab two more. You should be able to get one in here. Sometimes it's a little tough because of the, what are they called? Grommets on the back. And this one down here. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, deeper. So I think it actually fits more stickers, although this might not be full, but it, it definitely would fit more stickers than the Happy Planner storage box. So um, I just ordered a bunch more of these because I really love the way that they look on my shelf. All right. So I put a couple things in this next one because I wanted to show you how it can be used. I do want to say that everything I'm sharing today will be linked in the description of this video. So this is another tiered storage, same sturdy material. You can't fit a planner in here because of the discs, but you can fit block pads. And I love being able to access my block pads really quickly and easily. So this is really convenient for that for my desk. You could also fit a whole pack of mild liners. And then I have these click art pens and these Alohaster highlighters. These can fit here. So if you're looking for a solution in terms of your um, marker storage or things like that. This could be a really good solution for you and just an easy way to organize your desk. And then of course, these smaller compartments, which like in the other one, we can fit stacks and stacks of sticky notes and other planning supplies to help keep you organized. So let me see if I can find the name of this. Let's see. This is one, two, three, four. This is a stadium organizer. That's what this is considered. And just so that you know what each of these are, this is pocket cards organizer. That's what this one is. All right. Um, or no, this might be six. Okay. This is stadium organizer. This is pocket cards organizer. And this is six by six paper storage, six shelf box. Oh, wait a second. It just occurred to me that these are shelves. You probably figured that out before I did. So you don't have to put it the way that I did. You could put it like this. I don't know why I always think to hold things up the other way, but you could store items in here like this. I know that many people try to figure out the best storage options for they're acrylograph pens because I know that they need to be stored horizontally because they are paint pens, paint pens. So let's pull these out of the original box. I just haven't found a better system yet for mine. And if you are someone who loves different colored pens and markers, this would be a really good option there. So you can see them like that a little bit. You might have to pull them out a little bit more, but that would be really good storage for those. All right, let's clear some of this off and keep going. Okay, next up is this six by eight paper pad holder. It's not going to fit a block pad because this is 
too wide. However, you could put sticker books in here as well. This would be a nice storage option for sticker books. You can put other sized ones and you can put skinny paper in here. So there's a lot of storage options for this, even though it doesn't fit classic. Um, and then you could put it oops, on your desk this way or bookshelf, or I like to have mine facing this way because I like them to have that clean look when you first walk in. There's enough clutter that I like to have the clean look there. Okay, that's it in terms of these types of boxes, but there's a lot more in this box that I can't wait to share with you. Okay, I've brought you in closer, I've sat down, so now we can roll sleeves up and take a further look. So this is a scrapbook.com deluxe adhesive roller permanent. So let's open this up. I feel like I need to open things before starting a video. Do you struggle with opening things? Certain like, oh, there's a tab, duh. Sometimes there's certain basic tasks that I struggle with, like putting a key in the door, not spilling milk, <laughs> and opening packages. All right, so, oh, this is interesting. Okay, let's grab something to use this with. An apartment full of planning supplies and nothing to use. Okay, we're just gonna take some paper. So this is an adhesive roller, perfect. I don't know if you've seen my videos recently that I can't find my adhesive roller anywhere. So I was 100% in need of something. I love that I can just put the top back on here and it's ergonomic, I like that. Now we have tabbed dividers. Ooh, look at these. Okay. Ooh, I'm excited to play with these. So this set is four by six. They feel plastic. Like, yes, they are. Okay, interesting. So these are tab dividers. I bet that you could use these to organize a compartment or you can use them maybe in a bullet journal, maybe, if you figured out the best way to put them in. They're not punched or anything like that, but it comes with vinyl label stickers to be able to, I think it should just go this way. So I wonder if in one of these storage boxes, let's grab one. We're just doing a lot of experimenting today together to see how this all goes. So I wonder if in something like this, you could, yes, you could definitely put these in here to organize what I would use this for are my small shop sticker sheets. So if you're ordering from an Etsy shop or something like that, and they just come in sheets and you're not sure how to organize them, this would work really well for that. And you could label them with who the shop is or maybe the month that you wanna use them or something like that. Like I know that I try to plan ahead and order months in advance when it comes to certain events or holidays. So we have these plastic white four by six ones. Then these are rainbow, so it looks like you have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, light blue, and violet. And then a pack of another, ooh, wait. No, that's not going to be this. Let's, let's pull these out and look at the actual colors. So this looks like it's just going to be like reds, oranges, yellow, a pretty pink. These are pretty colors, they remind me of the sun and the sunset. And then the corresponding labels with them. Then we have the cools, so that was it. These are the warm colors. These are the cool colors. These kind of remind me of jewel tones. So these really pretty colors here and the corresponding tabs. And then we have the same three sets. Look how cute these are in the three by four size. So I really like these and I'm excited to play around with them and figure out exactly what I'll use them for in my system. All right, put some of this aside. Now we have folders. So 
looks like. Let me get the exact name. I'm not seeing it, but I will find it. Okay, so we have pockets. One, two, three, four, five, six. And these have thing right here. So this would also be great for your loose sticker sheets from things like um, small shops. Let's see if you could fit loose paper in here. Don't know if this size will work. Just in case like maybe you have some extra filler paper, if like you bought it from a D-stash or something like that and you want to organize it, this would be a great way to do it. Plus because it's clear, you can see exactly what's inside. There we go. Mm. Yeah, we are good. Or maybe you have printables from my Etsy shop <laughs> and you want to put them in. This would work. It look, Actually, it's going to crush it a little bit. Don't use this size. But there are bigger sized ones. So let's open this up. Just looking for the bottom part here. Okay, this would definitely fit that paper, like a file organizer. But it looks like this will also fit big paper. So if you didn't already know, a big happy planner is the size of eight and a half by 11. It's your normal everyday printer paper. So let's put this one in. This will definitely fit. So here are two different size pages in here. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and put a skinny in too. And this also comes in a pack of four. So this is a pack of four, and this is a pack of five. I thought there were six. Wait a second. One, two. Maybe these are both. These are both packs of five. Sorry for the confusion. <laughs> All right, next up we have sticker books. So let's clear this out again and go through the sticker books. All right, so I have four sticker books here. I have Rainbow, Peppermint Christmas, Preppy, and Black and White. So you probably already know which one I am going to start with. This is 789 stickers. And I bet this fits perfectly in the storage that I shared earlier. So the paper, is like a thick, it's hard to, it's like a little bit of a thick sticker, more like scrapbook stickers. Um, but I can't wait to try these out in my planner or my memory planning. So there's a lot of fun wording, home sweet home, my guy, my favorite place, I love you so much, sweetheart. And then there's gold foil on some of them too. And then we have circles and these look like actually quarter boxes, which is great and some longer boxes as well. Oh, look at these letters. I'm excited to use these letters. Let's pull one up. That's going to be easy to pull up. So we've got the K there, if you can see it. And then I would assume gold, oh, white. <gasps> oh my goodness. How perfect would these be with the brand new blackout paper? I luckily have it right here. So. Let's take a look. Let's grab this S. <gasps> look how clean that is. Sorry, you couldn't see. That's really, whoops. That's really clean on this paper. Oh, I'm excited about that. I feel like I never see white stickers. And because these are matte, and I mean, not clear because they're paper, you're going to be able to see them really easily on the white paper. Then we have gold. Um, these are all caps. These have lowercase and then we have more black. I'm excited. This is basically like a whole book of black letters, which I'm really excited for. Then we have rainbow. So it looks like because they're both 789 pieces and the same words, they're going to be the same stickers, but in different colors. So the rainbow and this is like a holographic foil, like a silver with some rainbow colors and a hollow there. And then these fun circles and boxes and look at these letters. And then this is the hollow, you can see it there. 
and then lowercase and all caps and more lowercase. All right, now let's go to the preppy. This kind of reminds me of Socialite a little bit, the color scheme there. Mm, maybe not, because I don't think Socialite had yellow, but I like this color scheme a lot. I really like these pops of color. And all the alphabets make me so happy. And this is a gold foil. I'm always looking for more alphabet stickers. Okay, and now we have Preppy Christmas, which also has 789 stickers. My guess is that the difference might be the quotes or the wording on the front. So we have things like holiday memories, Christmas Eve, movies, gifts, Merry Christmas for the record. And then yes, we've got the other same layout with the circle boxes and the squares, rectangles. I love these colors here for Christmas. And then this is a regular silver, it's not a holographic foil. And more alphabet stickers. So, I'm excited. There's a lot to play around with here. There's a lot to organize. I'm so excited to organize all the stickers using the new sticker book storage that I just shared with you that I bought. I bought a lot of them and I'm going to revamp my whole system. So everything that I shared today is going to be linked in the description um, of this video. They are affiliate links, which means that if you share um, purchase using them, I do earn a commission. Um, but let me know what you liked the best. So thank you so much for watching. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, please do take a moment to like this video and subscribe, and I will see you next time.